Hey guys, it's Kurt Riemann back again uh, from Poor Vapor Society. Uh, recently, I haven't been online, haven't posted any new videos. Got a new setup. <clears throat> Excuse me. And had to get my computer fixed. Last one I did, I was drunk. And I was filming it on my cell phone. Sorry about the lighting over here and it, well, over here being darker and everything. It's everything's kind of kooky right now. Just moved in, so getting everything set up. Uh, today, I'm actually here to talk to you about something interesting. I just picked up the SVIP 200. Um, it's a decent device. It is $169 at Steel City Vapors here in Pittsburgh. Um, it was worth it, though. I've never had a high-end device like this. Um, just starting it, it's a lot to learn, especially using the eScribe software. Um, I don't vape nickel. The reason why I got this was because I could do titanium on it and recently found out pretty much anybody can do titanium on a mechanical mod, regulated mod, or on time control. Not recommended though. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, pretty much, I also want to say happy Halloween to everybody. Hope you guys are having fun. Please be safe. Be responsible also. If the bar doesn't allow smoking, please go outside. Vape outside. Don't be that asshole. So, on to the mod. Uh, right now, I'm using the Addy 3 Cube on here. Um, not using my chuff top because I broke it. Um, but it's pretty good. I'm using titanium wire, titanium one wire. Uh, right now, I'm doing a dual rep, 6 watts with ja uh, Japanese cotton. You guys really can't tell, but good thing too because my coils look like crap. So, um, I have it plugged in right now because it's also charging. Um, right now, the temp I'm running it at is at 540 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be something else in Celsius, and I don't do Celsius, and at 75 watts. Um, Flavor-wise, it's got good flavor. Um, I've barely dripped that much. Now, I have used a lot of the juice I'm using. Right now, I'm using White Label. Uh, Blueberry custard, it's a really good flavor if you like blueberries and custards, it's not too strong. Uh, once again, also, it sounds like a, a shameless plug. Steel City Vapors, though, in Pittsburgh. Um, I've bought every one of my mods pretty much from them. Um, great guys, love hanging out and working with them. If you're shopping online and you see it, it's worth it. Talk to them, call them, it's all worth it. Um, but back to the mod. Um, it's a good mod. It's got a good flavor setup. Um, when it's coming, when it comes down to a DNA 200, the thing to use seriously is when you're going into your eScribe, watch the videos. Uh, Phil Pissardo does a great, like hour and a half long video on how to use your eScribe. Um, it's very informative, and it helped it helped me out a good bit. Um, I learned how to basically, if I'm doing titanium, I can set it up for a different profile on here. If I'm going to be using my canthal build, I can then set up a separate build directly for my canthal. Meaning that if I put on one, I can just switch over to a different setting, drop on my Addy, and go. It does recognize if it's a new Addy, but once again, it's some tweaking to get used to. Um, battery life's pretty good. Uh, those who know me, I vape nonstop. Uh, usually I'll go through two two sets of uh, 26650s a day, and that's either running in series or in parallel. I mean, I just, I vape nonstop. Um, I got a whole day so far out of this one, um, and I just plugged it in because I'm doing the video and I wanted to upgrade some stuff, but I'm already only at 53%, so I mean, I've used this since I got up this morning around 9 o'clock. Right now it's six, so I mean I've been going through it pretty good. I mean it's it's been a good decent mod. It is heavy. It is bigger than most people are used to, like everyone else will say. <clears throat> Coming from someone who is strictly a mechanical mod person, that's all I use, and it's usually it has to be a 26650. With that 26650 setup, I'm used to a lot of power, a lot of vaping, for a long time, um, but it's heavy. It's very heavy. I decided finally, drop a couple bucks, 
get myself an, a, a decent upgraded mod. It is from China, but it is using the Evol Authentic. I checked the serial number when I loaded up my eScribe, got the serial number, and checked it on the Evol site. It is authentic. It was even told me my manufacturing date and when they sent it out. So, it's good. And coming from China, yet, I mean, it's... It's an authentic mod, and it's a high-end mod. It's not a piece of crap like some things we've gotten. There are clones and everything like that. Um, it's just a good mod. I like the setup. Something else I've noticed from a lot of, of the reviews I've been seeing, they don't talk about it, but you can use it as a pass-through. Um, I ran this thing all the way down last night to nothing, plugged into my computer, did my upgrades and everything, and vaped on it while I was used, while it was charging. Um, it is a three cell lipo. Um, a lot of people, when we first started vaping, so many, not that long ago, you never used a lipo because lipos were bad. I mean, it was a danger thing. Um, but it's a good mod. I love the mod. It's great. Um, been having trouble with the titanium, though. Um, it's quirky. Uh, I know that when I did my first ever uh, nickel build on my little iLeaf 40 watt here, I mean it was it it was nice and all, but I felt like I was still smoking cigarettes because of the the nickel. I didn't like how the nickel was. Um, titanium it gets hot really quick, and because of how hot it gets quick, you got to be careful with it. But it's nice though. I mean, it's a nice vape. It's a warm vape still because I like my warm vapes. That's why I vape on like 8.4 volts usually, which on a 0.2 I think comes out to, I think like 185 watts. So I'm used to a really hot vape, and nickel was just kind of too cold for me. It actually was a cold vape. The flavor was good, but it was cold. Um, with this, I mean, 500 and f what was it 540 degrees at 75 watts and it's like I'm vaping on my congestus clone that I have which is double stacked with and uh, you know fully charged batteries I'm hitting at 185 watts I'm used to that super hot tasting vape that vape is just mm, it's a punch but besides that I mean it's a great mod guys um I actually started vaping on this before I set up the video here, and I haven't dripped since I put the video on. So, I mean, it's like temp control. You can keep vaping and vaping. You're not going to get a dry hit. You'll notice because the flavor will disappear. And I'm sure when I'm vaping, it sounds like Darth Vader breathing right now because, you know, well... My mic's right next to my mouth because the mic on my computer sucks. Once again, I do apologize for this. I am working on getting a better ca camera, everything. But um, definitely, guys, check them out. Check it and one, get one of these new two DNA 200s. It's um, it's going to be worth the money. I have a feeling this might actually replace most of my mods, and that's kind of weird for me because I love my mechanical mods. Um, I'm still waiting on my repaired one to come back. I got one at EC at uh, it was the vape convention that was in Hamburg, Pennsylvania last year, or no, beginning of this year. Um, it was a nice st sturdy box mod, uh, parallel not parallel, sorry, series 26650 uh, elephant trunk mod. It was a great mod. It was working out nice. Problem was my magnets weren't glued in that that well. Um, I had to go and get a new battery sled remade for me for my 26650s that's right up now in Pencil here in Pittsburgh uh, actually in Robinson at a place called Kicking Butts good guys up there he's fixing up my mod um, if the guy from Elephant who makes the Elephant trunk sees this dude make it thicker make it thicker because it cracked it cracked at the top cracked at the bottom and I'm getting dead hits with it I didn't send it back because it was so long past the 30-day warranty thing you said and I'm like listen I, I need my mod fix it's one of my most hardest hitting mods I own and it's like okay fix this um, the other mod I've been using is the which is in another room right now is the Kung Fu version 2 or version 4 uh, 26650 or 18650 battery it can get you to run in parallel or in series, which is really nice because it's got a little button switch that you click. It's a P and an S. If you want parallel, switch it to P. If you want it in the series mode, 
click it to S. Um, I run mine strictly in series because that's all I run usually is series mode because I once again I like a hot vape. Um, pretty much with it, we're going to take this out tonight. I'm going to go out to the bars, see how it runs. Um, the bars I go to, a lot of the bars here in Pittsburgh, you can still smoke in, so I can vape in there still. Um, entering a costume contest, we'll see if I can vape in, the, in my costume in this. I know I can with my congestus because of the size. And I will. there is one problem I had with this. The, the cable it came with. The cable is a nice cable. It's a flat cable. I really like that. Um, it's got this neat little USB setup on it that it's not like a regular USB. It's a silicone based thing. You just slide it in. Boom. You're done. You're connected. The connection end is the issue. I don't know if you guys can see this, but see how it's bent now? It actually came out of the plug setup here. And when that happened, I lost all connectivity to my mod. So, guys, when you're making this at eSig e Green, or Sig Green, the company who made this, please, please fix this. Fix this thing, because this, this pisses people off. I mean, it's a good sturdy wire, but then it breaks, and I just got it yesterday. This kind of sucked. This kind of pissed me off. Um... I don't blame where I got it. I blame the manufacturer on it. It's shit. It's cheap. It's chintzy. The wire itself is nice, sturdy, silicone coated. That connector is a piece of shit. So, fuck it. Right now I'm using my cell phone cable in here and it works out great. I can still change all my settings and everything like that. So, folks, hope you enjoy this. Hope you... What little bit of information I gave on a quick review. Um, like I said, I don't have the camera to go down up and close and really get into this. Um, like I said, the Addy 3 on here is really good. The other thing I use for my Canthal build on here is the uh, CLT Infinite 3 with the chuff top. Um, it's a nice little setup, actually so much so that I bought one to run strictly on this mod so that I can run titanium in here only in that, that setup. Um, it's good. I like them. Great airflow. Can't go single coil. That's kind of a selling point for some people. Not always. Me, I run strictly dual coil, single, boring, you know, coils. I don't do Clapton's. I don't do the alien ones. I don't do those ones that take 6 to 12 hours to figure out how to make it look like it's stapled. And then, you know run around corkscrewed twisted and screw it six to eight wraps put it in wick it juice it vape it it's simple it's easy i go for more for flavor for the heat for the clouds and i need a lasting mod with battery life people are out there who are like gotta do this cool this cool wrap that cool wrap guys keep it up I love seeing your videos. I love seeing how you guys build them. To me, it's another form of art. Hopefully, everybody went, called the White House, sent in your letters, harassed the crap out of the government, let them know that we are vapors, we're here to stay, and we want to keep vaping. So, my friends, like I always stay, stay off the analogs, and keep vaping, my friends.